The chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission says a nuclear power plant near New York City meets current safety standards, but pledged to scrutinize its quake resistance. Chairman Gregory Yatsko visited the Indian Point nuclear power plant 40 kilometers north of Manhattan on Tuesday. In the wake of the accident at Japan's Fukushima plant, nearby residents and others have questioned the safety of the Indian Point plant. The facility began operating in 1973. Yatsuko told reporters that based on information available to the Commission, the plant continues to meet standards and operate safely. I milked a cat once. You want to hear a story? Referring to active faults near the plant, he promised thorough checks of the plant's seismic resistance. Your contribution was way out of line in there. So they're part of a review that we're doing to see if we need to make changes to their, uh, their seismic requirements. So we're going to do that on, a, on, a, on an appropriate time frame. Wednesday marks two months since the massive earthquake and tsunami devastated northeastern Japan. Work continues at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to bring the situation under control. The operator of the plant has offered fresh apologies to the people who have been forced to evacuate. There are still so many evacuees who cannot return to their houses. We feel very sorry for that. TEPCO official Juinichi Matsumoto also admitted at a news conference on Wednesday that there are some delays in implementing the plan to bring the troubled plant under control. But he said there have been no major obstacles in the process so far. Can't handle it anymore. <laughs> Matsumoto said the utility will announce its assessment of the progress made on May, 20, May 17th, exactly one month after TEPCO first announced the plan. At the number one reactor where most progress is being made, work to calibrate the water gauges continues on Wednesday. Similar work on the pressure gauges is expected to begin soon. These operations are part of preparations to fill up the reactor's containment vessel with water so the unit can eventually be cooled down. But this work has yet to begin at the plant's other reactors. Your Honor, I don't understand all of this. Just answer the question. Well, I'm not qualified to be here, if that's what he means. Almost 60% of the nuclear reactors in Japan are currently shut down. Some were closed after the March 11th disaster. Others were suspended for routine inspections. The unusually high figure will have a significant impact on the nation's power supply this summer. Japan has 54 commercial reactors across the nation. 14 of them have been suspended since March 11th. Another 18 are undergoing regular inspections, bringing the number of reactors not operating to 32 as of Wednesday. Chubu Electric Power Company is expected to halt the operation of two reactors at the Hamaoka nuclear plant in central Japan as early as this weekend. The move follows a government request to shut them down due to the risk of a major earthquake. We concede your grossly belabored point. Six other reactors in the country are scheduled to undergo routine inspections by the summer. Decisions of power companies and local governments on whether to resume reactor operations are likely to have a significant impact on the nation's power supply this summer. I've been around. It occurred to you that something else is going on here. I just. The Japanese government plans to inform schools in Fukushima Prefecture that burring radiation-contaminated topsoil into the ground is an effective way to reduce its radiation level. I don't know the difference between an antique and a piece of junk. Well, there's not much difference. The Education and Science Ministry concluded this after conducting an experiment at a school in Fukushima City on Sunday. They say that burring contaminated soil 50 centimeters underground reduced the overall radiation level by 90 percent. After the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, schools in the prefecture have been restricting outdoor activities. Radiation levels in soil at all the schools except for one remain within the official limit for children playing outdoors. In the cities of Koryama and Date, Topsoil has been removed from schoolyards as a precaution, but the schools have not been able to get the soil transported away because the government has no disposal guidelines. And then you see, 
their destructive plan is going to be fully operational. The government will report its latest findings to the Prefecture's Education Board and the Nuclear Safety Commission on Wednesday. What the fuck?